<laughs> Welcome back to the Metal Gear Reven uh, Revenge Den. The Metal Gear Revenge Den? <laughs> it's the Metal Gear... Recollection. 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 So, last time we got pretty fucked up. I mean, if you look at the guy now, his eye is permanently closed forever. Almost like Guts from Berserk. Yes. And uh, this guy's been throwing us food, which we're throwing out to him. Um... It takes a little while, but I'm going to trigger a funny little cutscene that involves this person. Um, you learn that he is the origin of a bunch of characters we run into in later games. And it's very, very funny, especially if you know what's going on. So I feel like I'm kind of a little fucked up. Uh, it looks like the boss shot a fake death pill into my leg, so she's, she's assisting me, which is very interesting. Let's dig it out of my body with this plastic fork. And there's that transmitter that uh, Ocelot jammed into my back. Let's get rid of that as well. And uh, our friend Gregory is still with us, joined by yes. a pee and blood stain. Yes. You can actually see the pee, can't you? No. No? Right, we don't have any food or anything like that. You're lying to me. So I now have the fake death pill, which I can use as a way to get out of here. And, um... Are you? No. Uh, I'm gonna use that code that we got in the previous episode. The but, one one the one four four seven five. Uh, yes, that is correct, sir. So, okay. um, there there's always some type of uh, part in almost every Metal Gear game where you get captured, and you have to break your way out of prison. And uh, as far as I remember, this specific section has the uh, the most amount of ways to get out of prison. You can use that number that that ghost showed you in order to call and just buzz open the door. Um, oh, he threw me some food. Yay, how nice. He threw me a frog. Uh, you can use the buzzer. You can fake your own death, which will make this guy open the door to run in here. Um, you could try and hide, which will make him run in here to look. Uh, and in this case, and what I'm about to show you, is you can befriend the motherfucker. And there's a great, there's a great little cutscene that'll actually add a lot of flavor to the rest of the game. Um, really? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Well, not to the the rest of this game specifically, but to the rest of the Metal Gear universe. So let's uh, let's just take a load off. Let's take a nap. In fact, let's call my boss and say, Hey, you know how I've been a fuck up the entire time we've been doing this? So, uh, yeah. I wouldn't say all right. I have multiple concussions, bullet wounds I can't close up. I had to jam a fork into the small of my back to pull a transmitter out of there. Why would they leave him his radio and his medical items? Yeah, I just said that. I mean, they just, yeah, I mentioned know, I that earlier. They just kind of talked about. <laughs> Snake's pissed off. They just kind of talked about it. Um, but yeah, if you keep calling these guys, they'll keep giving. You, oops. Oh yeah, the boss did give you a gun. I forgot about that, and I probably can't you hold up the guy uh, um, coming into the cell. Probably later, um, but I've never tried it, and I've never had it work. Um, but this this codec conversation right here is slightly uh, important. I was tied up, and it happened so fast. I like how Snake's apologizing. Typical Japanese guy. I'm sorry, I heroically saved your life. Bitch. Ungrateful. And here, here's one of those rare characterization moments where it's clear that maybe she, maybe she is into Bears Snake a little bit more than her. Yeah, a little bit more than her her spy mission. Uh, uh, may lead you to believe, basically. Uh, uh. So let's take a nap. I hope you guys enjoy the uh, napping portion of the Let's Play. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Napping Simulator. Welcome back to Smooth Voice with One-Eyed Solid Snake. <laughs> bringing you the solidest tunes on this K-L-M-N-O-P-69 radio. <laughs> L-M-N-O-P? I don't fucking know. Here with us today is uh, Gregory, uh, the Nobel Prize winning uh, poison-tipped crossbow that's been embedded in my leg for about the past week. And, you can see him uh, on your underarm. We're going to a commercial. We'll be right back. Bitches. He threw a fish to me. 
It's a fish now. So here's where we tr where we actually start befriending the guy because we're basically feeding him. Great. I think th I think three does it. Does three do it? What? I don't remember. I think three does it. <laughs> I think Spinning. three does the cutscene. Yeah, here we go. Hey. So now let's learn about this uh, this lowly poor Russian soldier whose only job in life is to guard this cell. We went quiet for this guy. Also notice the giant J on his forehead. There's a very important reason for that. There's a very important reason for that, which we'll get into later on. Uh, let's just say that his name is Johnny. Uh, he's a very special man. Uh, sometimes he has problems with digestion. And now he's gonna let Snake bang him through the bars. Really lonely. It's your kid's name. See, so this is like a there. There's Johnny. So this is uh. That's, no, that's the kid. That's it. Yeah, and that's a cool callback to uh, that's a cool callback to uh, the other games and a character that's in the other game. So basically, you're meeting this guy's dad. Um, or the the character's dad. Here we go. We've got more pictures and stuff like that. But um, no, this is really interesting because you never. Hey, look at that! It's that code we saw again. But that's an awesome. That's an awesome way to um, figure out the the code to get out of here. Because I'll be able to put that in the codec and it'll open the door for me. Because apparently the door is radio controlled. In this, apparently. In this super sex dungeon. I mean, in this super high technology lab base thing here. Nano machines. Correct. Um, but, no, this is really cool because you never had the opportunity to try and do anything like this before, which is actually befriend the guy. So the fact that it's in the game, I think, is really cool. I think it's a really cool little Easter egg. Hell yeah. And look, he gave me some... Uh, he's giving me my knockout spray. Which, they don't know it's knockout spray. They're literally like, he's like, here, have some cigarettes, dude. Which is super cool, because you wouldn't have that otherwise. So you'd be trying to break out of here with a fork. So technically, he tried to steal his cigarettes. Yeah. Don't suppose you could let me out of here. I can't do that. Oh, this is, this is such a funny, like, now he's like, oh, man, you're being an asshole. <laughs> don't do that. I want you to be my friend. I know you're gonna get killed either way, but I don't want to shoot you. I gotta go. <laughs> Poor guy. Damn. Is there a fan going in your room? I feel like I can hear a fan going in your room. No, there's no fan going in my room. Uh, it must just be reverb or something. If you fuck this up for me, Tony, if you fuck this up for me with your fucked up audio, I just... You won't do a goddamn thing about it. So you get a fork in here, and the interesting thing about the fork is that... It's huge. You can use it like a... Well, you can use it like a melee weapon. It is huge. But you can use it like a melee weapon, which is interesting. But um, it also allows you to uh, eat things instantly. So if you, like, stab and... If you stab like a... Like a rat. Yeah, like a rat with it. Um... It will, uh... Where's this guy? There he is. Oh, shit, he's gonna shoot at me. There we go. Notice he hesitated because he didn't want to shoot me. Because he likes me. Because I'm his friend. His friend. I'm his friend. Any... Oh, I got a call. Take the call. But, yeah, it's interesting because it means you don't have to go into the fucking menu to eat food. In your present state, you're practically naked. In fact, I can see your balls from here, snake. I can Damn. see your balls from the satellite. You got massive balls, Snake. Massive balls. So now we have to single-handedly work our way out of this goddamn frackin' Krasnigrad place. Yeah, we've got to work our way out of this, this huge Russian base with nothing. Which means we got to sneak. Should be possible. I mean, he, after all, he is trained by the CIA. It is absolutely possible. Hey, I got a camera. Which you can use for a photo viewer later on. Let's Ooh, see. Shit. What do we got going on here? The got fuck? Weird Japanese model. We've got Metal Gear Solid, the the cartoon or the manga. We got Metal Gear Solid, the manga again, and there's Electronic Gaming Monthly with the Metal Gear Solid Three cover. Which what? that was literally that was actually the cover. Hey, look, there's that room where I got. 
fucking beat up, oh, that's tortured a, in. That's a brutal room. That's so, a lot of blood. So yeah, since we went through the process of, since we went through the process of, oh my god. Hello. Hi, you look like Jessica Negri, but your name is Tamika Laurel Rousen. Go fuck yourself. Ha ha ha. But yeah, since we since we did the the thing we did in order to befriend the guy, we actually have a little bit more of a fighting chance because we have this instant knockout spray that we can use. Yes. Which is great. Hey, look, here's a toilet. Um, Johnny, if you... Uh, not if you leave him alone enough, but if, if you wait enough time, uh, he'll actually get indigestion, go take a huge dump, at which point you can sneak by him. But uh, obviously we didn't... Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Where are you going? Where am I going? Down the hall. You gotta. You, you have to go out through. Um... Was, it, was it this? Here it is. God damn it. Yeah. Shut up. You're not my. Bro. You're not my dad. Bro. I got. I got discombobulated. I'm starting to get hunger pangs. I haven't eaten two entire pizzas in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm a fat kid. Okay, so there's already a guy there. And if fuck we, him up. If we look at our mapu here, let's look at our map. We need to get up there, which means from here, we can sneak through over to there. We basically have to go through three screens undetected. Think we can do it? Possibly. Probably not. Can't in, you just go under the roof? In fact, I'm guaranteed. Well, I'm going to go up to the roof to see what's up there. I, oh. I don't know if I can pick anything up right now. Like, I know I can, but like if there was a camp. Oh, there's a van. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do our very best to sneak around here, see if we can't find. Go through that hole. Yeah, there's a nice little, uh, convenient little. Uh, it's not a vent hole. Murder hole. It's just a hole in the fucking wall. Why is there a square hole, perfect size for man to crawl, climb, crawl? There. Video games. It, it, yeah, it's definitely a, a big case of video games. Are you eating things? No, I'm moving shit around. Give me food. Okay, that, <laughs> that guy turned around. He hasn't Bitch. seen me. Although I'm worried that there will be a guy right around the corner here. Uh, no, from the looks of it, there is not. No so, so, guy. So far, we've gotten through two screens, but I always have trouble at this one. Mm. This is always the one where if shit goes down, it's going to be here. However, I really want to get through here undetected. Let's see. There's still those guys over there. However, the guy that's usually there doesn't seem to be there. But we can't go that way because there's a goddamn... Spotlight. There's a spotlight in the way. Go uh, underneath the tank. That's a, a good idea. So there's Gee. there's one guy. Wait. Two guys. Two guys. I saw two. Yeah. So let's see if we can sneak around and get him before that guy turns. Oh, oh, oh. He's out. So we're good. We're good there. See, the problem is there's the dog. And there's also a guy that's seen something somewhere. Oh, the dogs are freaking out, but they don't know where I am. The Get guy under the tank. Is, the guy is over there. The... Oh. But there, I think there's another dog over there. Is my problem. However, I will take your... Nope, 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 nope. You know what? I'm not going to hide under the tank. I... Shit! Should've hidden under the tank! There, we took care of the dog. But now they've seen me. Shit. Shit and poop. Fuck it. Bad things are happening. Oh, God. Oh, I, I unequipped the cigars. I ran right at him thinking I had the cigar spray <laughs> equipped, just not paying attention. Um, yes. If I wanted to, over in that door over there, there's another M63 I can grab and use to start shooting people, but that is... Uh, no, we want to get through this as quickly as possible. We've already wasted enough time talking to that one Russian asshole. Yes. Here we go. So here's the pretty <laughs> cool sewer escape scene. Uh, shades of uh, uh, clear, Bullshit. clear and present danger. What was the movie where Tommy Tommy Lee Jones is chasing Harrison Ford? The Fugitive. The Fugitive, not clear and present danger. Shit. Jesus. Hi, Eva. So he was I've like, never even seen that movie, and I know what it's about. Thank you, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for being the foil to my aluminum. <laughs> yes, that's right. What I'm saying oh, is no. that I am bigger anyway, and you just kind of peter out with a small word at the end. Oh no! I'm just being a bastard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? No. Can you give me inside hugs to make us feel better? Inside hugs. Shut up! 
As opposed to outside hugs? As opposed to, like, bro fist fisting hugs. Fist fuck. Please don't. Uh, <laughs> God, no. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the lore. <laughs> but basically, we're in a heck of a pickle right now. Yes, we are. We're in, and uh, Eva is going to come tickle my pickle. What? With her tongue. <laughs> with her phone? Tongue. Tongue. Ring. 6969. Ha! It's a sex thing. It's part of your password. <laughs> okay, so let's, hey, they gave me life meds. That's a good thing. There's a guy down there. There's nobody down there. No? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, there is a ration here in case we need it. Uh, but now here we are in the sewers where we need to frantically run to escape from the men who are coming to touch our goodies. Where the fuck am I going? The wrong goddamn way, that's where I'm going. Yeah, Shit. that's just a hole to hide in. That's a bad call. We need to go this way. Tick -a -tap 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 Look at the draw tick -a -tap 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 distance on there. There's an opening out into the real world over there, but we can't see it yet. Correct. Unfortunately. So here we are, we're running through here. I'm pretty sure there's some type of item that we can get later on here. Uh -huh. Um like a special item that you can only get once by running through here, but I don't uh, remember. We're saying fuck it. I don't, yeah, I don't remember where it is. I know it's there. If somebody in the comments knows, please let me know or please enlighten me as to what the hell it is. I know I could Google it, but I'm not going to Google in the middle of playing the game. Right now I'm just trying to escape from all these I terrible mean, rations. These, I could Google it. These goddamn rations. You could giggle it. Can you giggle me, sir? What do you want? Is it? It's probably something like camo or some bullshit. I don't think you pick up any camo at this part. I think it's. Oh shit! There's a dog there. There's you, a dog. You guys, there's dogs. To oh god! There's a dog right behind me. You Did son you of a. See it? He, mm. He's coming to touch my goodies. He wants to he, play fetch. He wants all your goodies. So there's the door I'm supposed to go through, but it's locked as shit. So we just need to keep running. We need to try and escape. We need to escape. We need to have the escapades. Not cool, bro. We'll get out of here eventually. Oh, God. There's lots of men after us. Lots. Look at them. No. Ah, ah. <laughs> so Kojima, like I said, gives you stuff to do in here. You can actually zoom in and out with the right trigger and look around at stuff and do this. Dip, 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 dip. So that's, that's a bad fucking time right there. That's a high fucking jump. But it's either get get captured or jump. Well, at this point, it's like he's probably looking over that. Like that's about as high as the bridge the boss threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a neat little detail. They took his knife out of his sheath and his leg. What do you mean? Oh, on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here's Ocelot coming to gloat again. Wow. All he ever does is gloat. You get the feeling that maybe he isn't actually trying to kill this guy. He's so happy. Mm. He's like, bah, 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 bah. look at my weird face modeling. <laughs> Goddamn double action bullshit. Eh, it's fine. So he's got this this bullet, and he's like, oh my god, I'm gonna load it in here. It looks like he wrapped like scotch tape around it to get it to fit into the larger <laughs> chamber. Since he went from a nine millimeter Makarov to a forty five caliber. You know, revolver. revolver. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you gonna do, Snake? What's your plan? Yeah, bruh. Apparently, your plan is to just say fuck it. I mean, it's kind of one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't situations. As he actively tries to fire his empty chambers into the man. That's a hell of a backward swan dive. He could win Olympic gold with that. Yes. Except, Except what, for the... what team would he play for? Uh, Americans? At this point. But he'd get a zero. Ah, I have Russian one judges. shot left. One shot left because he only put one shot in. A ridiculously lucky snake is. Well, but I mean, it was the next shot, so had he pulled the trigger one more time, he'd have been good. That's what I meant. Don't die on me yet. I need you to for my nefarious plot. Nefarious purple. As he slowly drowns to death. <laughs> and here we, here we come up, we're coming up on an extremely cool 
uh, sequence here. And I don't want to call it a boss fight, even though it's technically a boss fight. Yeah, I was just about to say that. It's like, technically, it's not a boss fight. Correct. But here we are in this weird, fucked hellscape, this mangrove forest that's on fire. Which feels Must... like which feels like a crazy fever dream, doesn't it? Uh, I think this is a near-death experience. Yeah, this is a pretty near-death experience, which is explained by the fact that he runs into a, uh, a peculiar gentleman here by the name of Doctor Who. Um, or the Saw. He comes along to tell him that he's retarded, or TARDIS, or however they call it in that damn show, I don't know. <laughs> I don't watch it either. Yeah. Piss off somebody. No, we yep. run into a ghost by the name of the Sorrow, who is also a member of the Cobras unit. Cobras. Was. Was. Until he was fucking brutalized and murdered by someone. Which Fuck! Was... Are you falling? Are you like falling downstairs <laughs> live on stream? Damn it. This is not a stream. We're not live. This I... is being recorded. You're streaming your stream into your bone dick. I don't Bunghole. know. Bunghole. So this is a really, really cool character, and he... He, he, you see him in this game and you see him at the very end of the entire series. It's important. It is. Cool fucking character. Yeah, all of a sudden his fucking coat is gone. Right? Well, he is a ghost so he works by ghost rules. Yes. It's a pretty big pistol he's got on his Such a chest. cool, such a cool fucking sequence here. Hmm. Like, the fact that you actually have to try and fight the dead. Now, what's interesting about this part here is, uh, well, I'll show, I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. Because it's really good. Look, he's bleeding out of his eyes. Oh, my God, he's like that guy from the Casino Royale. He's... What a terrible... Villain? Yeah. Just in general. So we've got to deal with this fucking goofball floating around, and we've got to just keep moving forward. Which is why I call this a boss fight, because look, he's got a life bar, but he's fucking dead. He's dead already. Now, uh... this section here, uh, you actually run into um, every single person you've killed over the course of this game. Which, yep. in our case, is a fair amount of people. It's not as many as if I'd been on the alert the entire goddamn time, but uh, we're going to run into a lot of dead people here. Um, and what's cool about that is basically if you did a non-lethal playthrough... Oh, look, there they are. If you did a non-lethal playthrough, there's nobody here except for the bosses who kill themselves. Oh, God, look at the guy running! Jesus Christ. He's fucking going for it, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look at this creepy, spooky shit. Hey, there's the first guy whose neck I cut in half. Look at him. He's all kinds of fucked up. Yes. So this guy, this boss, occasionally takes pat shots at you. Occasionally, There's nothing you can't handle, though. So, so far, are you keeping a running tally on <clears throat> on dudes? Dead dudes? Nope. Okay. Nope. Should have told me to do that in the beginning. Yeah, I should have thought about that. Oh, well, maybe I'll do some fancy editing and keep a running tally on all the dead bodies here. Oh, Gotta get out God. of the way. So, yeah, occasionally he takes these weird Kamehameha pot shots at you. Tentacle porn. It's not a tentacle. It's an, eth it's an ethereal beam. It's perfectly explainable by a man covered in bees. Also... That is actually the pain up there. Also, don't forget, it also shows the animals you've killed. No. no Look at doesn't. the fish in the river. Well, the fish are just there because it's a dead thing. That's a... That's a... Uh, um, that's just part of the flavor of the area. To give mm. it a little uh, visual... Because I didn't kill any fish in this playthrough. Um, pulling the sausage back from your guys' eyes again. Um, this is not the original file we started with due to... we. I've, I've basically been running two parallel playthroughs. That way I have a backup in case footage gets fucked up. Damn. Right? <laughs> Anyways, I've been running a backup and we're now playing... The backup is now the master. Oh, look at that guy getting eaten by the vulture. <laughs> Shit's messed up. I can't really? believe we're at vulture people already, because we only just passed the pain. We're not even at the fear yet or anything like that. But there's yeah. a lot of dead men. So, setting up the cannon that, that snake has killed tons of people. 
He is a killer. It is his job. He's good at it. He got an A plus in killing things in combat high school. Ooh, that's probably an anime. That's probably an anime. Like that dumbass assassination classroom. Oh hey, look, there's the Fathrier. Hey, fuck you! Assassination classroom is actually pretty good. Ah, it's dumb. Have you even seen any of it? Have yes. you read the manga? Yeah, it's dumb. It's all dumb. You're dumb. Look at you him! Haven't... Look at him pawing at me like a cat. Meow, meow. <laughs> like an ocelot, as it were. Ha 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 ha. They're actually pretty cute when they're kittens. Ocelots? Yes. Well, have you seen have you seen Savannah cats? I'm sure I've shown you Savannah cats. Savannah cats. It's a no. it's a it's a domesticated cat that's cro a cross between a serval and a domestic cat. That's kind of cool. They are the size of Dobermans. And they act like dogs. You can train them. You can play fetch with them. You can take them on runs and shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And but. Uh, there is no but. Uh, the only but is that they're extremely expensive. Oh, man, the men are touching me. Which actually makes oh, me God. lose health in this sequence, which is why, oh, as God. you can see, I'm oh, trying shit. to avoid all the people. That's okay. I'm pretty good at weaving my way through men. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you go back to Savannah Cats. No, I always wanted one. I wanted one, and I wanted one that would, you know, like one of the ones that were closer to the wild. Just because apparently they're also good with kids. But, um, you know, mm. just the fact that they act like dogs and you can take them on runs. Imagine, you know, you're on like, uh, you're on a, a, a group run in the military, and all the fat guys are falling out. And every now and then you get, like, the sergeant that brings, like, their dog along on the on the, the group runs just for shits and giggles. Yeah. Imagine if you were one of the fat asses falling out in the back of the group. And, uh, hey, look, there's the end. He's dead. That poor, just, that poor just bird floating. just has just no floating. owner anymore. Yep. Oh, God, I got hit by one of his things because I wasn't paying attention because I'm an asshole. Anyways, imagine you're one of the fat asses falling out in the back of the group, and then all of a sudden this gigantic jungle cat runs up behind you. Your ass is going to be at the front of the pack faster than you can say, holy shit, there's a giant jungle cat chasing my ass down. <laughs> I shouldn't have eaten that Domino's right before this run. Right. I've actually done that, and it's terrible. I've done that. It's fucking horrible. I ran a 19-3 mile, though. Hop Domino's? Yeah. At least you was... weren't smoking during the run. It was... What? Yeah. Good God. I had... When I was in Pensacola, I, ha I ended up having to run a special PFT because uh, I was on light duty during the regular PFT. And I ended mm -hmm. up having to run a special PFT with the uh, the base... The, like the, the sergeant major of the entire squadron we were in. And, Jesus. And um, I was doing pretty good. I was running like a 19... And I was start. I, I was right by the end, and I was starting to fall out. And this fucking far out old man, forty five year old sergeant major, been in the Marine Corps like thirty years, comes up behind me. And he starts. He starts to overtake me, and he turns to me and he says, "Don't fag out on me now, Marine." And I'm like, "Oh, well, I can't. Damn. I can't fall out at this point." And so you know, I over. Goddamn I, right you can't. I ran. I blasted past him. And fucking did it, and I did it real good at that point. Look, the Fury's angry. Look at him. Look at him stomping around like a three-year-old who doesn't want to clean their room. I have experience <laughs> with that. Um, but, yeah, I was just like, ah, shit. And he was smoking during the run. Oh. So he's he's been in war. <laughs> uh, so there's a body up here. Sorry to... You know, talk about something completely unrelated to the absolute cool shit that's going on here. But there's a body yeah. there. Whose body is it? Oh, it's the Sorrow's body. And now we're dead. We're dead yeah. forever. That's canonically the end of it. LP over. So, if you hit continue here, you die. But um, you if, you, exit, if you use you your revival here, yes. If you exit, then, I mean, you just exit the game like a fucking idiot. But if you hit revival here, your revival pill brings you back to life and you get to continue on as snake yes i'm a snake dead ass and then you get ha! you get an it an explanation about who the sorrow is and what the fuck's going on and you actually here's a little backstory here where the sorrow is talking to the boss um which actually goes into the boss's philosophy or the boss's philosophy as a soldier and the boss's beliefs here 
because basically she had this super tight knit unit. This guy is the father of her kid, and as part of a mission, uh, she has to go into Russia and kill this guy. And so she proved her loyalty to her country by it, in the process of doing it. But um, I would assume you'd be slightly pissed off after that. But uh, does she does she manifest that in any way? Well, she defected, so maybe that has something to do with it. But um, so why did she have to kill him? Um, I think they're gonna explain it in a codec call here shortly. <clears throat> I think I think he thinky thinky do. Thinky thonky thonky. But dinky doddly dinky donkey do. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the I'm saying. The fuck are we saying? I thoroughly apologize for my inability to construct a coherent thought at this point in the LP. I'm really sorry. Let's play Wait canceled. <laughs> why? Why is he still wearing suspenders? They took his shirt off but left the suspenders on him. And his headset radio thing. And his little and headset his radio bandana. thing. And his choker with the little weird vibration sensor thing on there and they left him his pants and all his holsters and his dumbass bandana oh god did you see that yeah i've never noticed that before really yeah huh. i've never actually looked up and seen the sorrow i've always been distracted with my super adhd and tried to follow the butterfly <laughs> oh butterfly uh. so there was the pain the fear, the fear, yep. the end, the fury, the sorrow. You got one left. The pain, the fear, the end, the fury, the sorrow, and the boss. You mean the joy. The joy, you're right. The joy. She's always very happy to be in the battle. 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 I can't make words make good. An ESP. Very cool. Pseudoscience bullshit. Very cool. If you thought about this from a gameplay perspective, it's very interesting that the boss fight takes place with him as a ghost. Because I have a feeling that he would be a pushover while he was alive. Because it's like, how do you work ghosts into, you know, like gameplay during a living thing? You can't really without going full paranormal. Right. So this kind of pseudo-paranormal, pseudo did it happen, didn't it happen, is a very cool way to approach this character. So from a story standpoint, the fact that he's dead really informs the gameplay, which I love about a lot of these, uh, a lot of the Metal Gear Solid games, is that the, oh. the story goes along with the gameplay. Isn't that cool? Yeah, but I just thought of something else. What's that? Since the boss killed the sorrow mm -hmm. at the cliffs, you think his body fell into the river? That you were just at? Well, we the ran one... into his body. He's dead here. He's yeah. like, he's within like like I almost want to once we get back to gameplay go to where I think I saw the the, the ghost and see if I can't find a skeleton. But his body's here. We're right next to where his dead body is. Okay. I don't because... think I don't think you can find him, but his body. We are right next to where his body is in the world. But it will. Yeah. It's a very cool, very cool little gameplay section. You don't see a lot of stuff like that in video games. I mean, I, <laughs> and I don't mean that specifically, but a little like play on, you know, a boss fight or something like that. The devil doesn't pay much rent. The devil is a bad dude. Just throwing up, throwing the horns up the horns for himself. For himself. God, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen that shit in such a long time. No, that's the only reason I, that 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 popped up in my head because uh, isn't it that one? One, uh, it evolved of axe. Someone threw it into a, a hole or cavern or something. Yes. And then they found it in a different game. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's very funny. I'll talk about it later. It's a two best friends play joke. Two best friends play great let's play channel. They go by the switcher on the on the channel. Uh, very cool. Check them out if you've never seen them before. They do full LPs like this, except they are funnier and more Canadian than me in every way. Um. So we were here, and we were looking over there. Over there? We were looking somewhere around here, and we saw it. So really quick, before we end the video, let's look and see if we can't find the actual body of the sorrow. Like I said, I don't think we'll be able to. I don't think it's an, actually, an, an actual item in the game. We did find it floating there. Uh, no, unless it's up there, it doesn't look like it's here.